And hello, this is Saki321 reporting on routers. This date is 2008 and it's August the 7th and I just got my new looking good looking babe over there. A D-Link 54 megabyte. A G, one of the latest technology. Wait, 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 I'm, I'm kidding. This is I bought about five years ago. Okay, it just, uh, one core piece of shit 54 megabytes per second and doesn't have any security no usb ports just five ports gigabyte ports not gigabit ports and it's just one little core over there and it's no technology it's just wireless whatever you call it so so i told you the date already 2008 so this is my new router. Would you look at that? It's two cores and it's a N extreme. And this thing here got two cores and it runs at 300 megabytes. And it has gigabit ports, which is right over there. That stop sign was in there. There's a reason I'm not open that. That USB port is for settings not external hard drive so you can share it not for that never and you got this little tiny weird thing there i don't know what that's for and the wan port the lane or the wan the lan and the wan one of those two so this is my router now if you expect me to be joking i'm joking because this is not my router i'll show you my router it's gonna be like a dinosaur coming out of nowhere behold Linksys Duo band 2.4 gigahertz to 5 gigahertz bands Mimo technology band and A USB port right over there for external hard drives being connected from all around the world you can access and four gigabit ports with adapter the size of that you know how you people get all those crazy looking gaming computers which I'm gonna buy in the next two months you'll see mine this is what you call my gaming router now that's one hell of a router no one or anyone has put anything greater than this router on earth most people have it but it's pretty pricey and it's a high-end router it's got everything so let's start off with the design okay you might think it's a little too big but when you really have it at your hands it's one hell fucking thing it's one good fucking thing so you got the MIMO technology here for farther and faster distance and you got the dual band to uh, uh, go to the internet with 2.4 gigahertz and with 5 gigahertz stream live HD movie or HD movies right from your hard drive 500 gigabyte Z data with a Western Digital just to know so it's got that USB port to connect the hard drive which is pretty awesome you can set up your IP address all you gotta do is go to um, my computer search and then search for computers and thus write your work group group work name and it'll pop up and you can access it from anywhere it's like the HP media server but I would say the HP media server is much better and faster but this year is one son of a bitch usually on my old G right there I hold it by its tail right now it's on uTorrent it barely gives me a hundred which is pretty annoying because I download a lot on that d -Link Extreme over there I barely even get 200 with this baby I downloaded Crisis 4.7 gigabyte DVD or maybe even bigger in two hours with the speed of 582 average and it went higher 
So you're not gonna mess with this. Whoever has this, you're one lucky son of a bitches. Cause this thing, an extreme range plus farther, 16 times nine times, which is freaking fast. This dual band thing, it's one amazing technology. You can't beat it. $200 router, I think it's worth it. Go give it a go. Uh, it's not like those crazy junky routers, like that router over there. It has some crappy blue light when I go to sleep. These ports right over here, they all light up like crazy. It hurts my eyes. This thing got dim light. You can actually choose your color. I chose green for normal. Uh, choosing color, you might not believe, but there is, uh, if you go to the link, it says IP address for the router. If you log in, it says what color would you like. The, the choices are blue, green, or red. I prefer green, so when I go to sleep, I don't see a bunch of blinks on my wall. That button right there, I don't know what that for, some kind of lock or something, it just says reserved on it. See, I don't know what it says. So, if you're gonna go buy a router and you have a really awesome high-end gaming computer, and this is, so you should buy this high-end router. This is gonna go great with my new computer. So, um, this is Saki321 talking about the Linksys WRT600N. Very awesome. I recommend you buy it. Thanks for watching.